I work in the area of semiconductor devices, and these are the devices that have driven the age of information. So they may be transistors, lasers, uh, optical modulators. I've written a number of textbooks, which are in the area of physics, quantum mechanics. I've also written uh, several books in the area of culture, especially dealing with Indian culture. I've also written books on yoga because that's also a field of great interest to me. Concepts in yoga and concepts in science and technology, there's a lot of similarity. Technology's role is starting to shift where it's becoming more of an enabler and it should be more enabling because technology can also become a serious distraction. The driving force moving me forward is how do we develop technologies that are mindful, that bring wellness into our lives, personal lives, social lives, cultural lives, as well as caring for the environment. Uh, with my interest in wellness, uh, using concepts from yoga and technology, I developed a course titled Imagine, Innovate, Act, where students from across the campus, artists, musicians, medical school, public health, and couple them with students from technology to develop apps that focus on wellness that can be used globally to address many of the issues that we face in terms of education, uh, issues in women's health, issues for old age like dementia, Alzheimer's, and I hope that it'll draw students from all over the campus to work together in teams, to work towards breaking down the barriers between humanities and technology. An area of great interest to me is intercultural interactions between people from all over the world. And as part of that, I'm very fortunate that I've received funding from the University of Michigan as part of the global intercultural experience for undergrads, where I'm bringing a group of undergrad University of Michigan students to Amritsar, which is in northern India. And the students will study a course which is titled Sustainable Nourishment, Lessons from the Golden Temple. And we'll see at this temple, anywhere from 60,000 to 100,000 people are fed. And students will see how communities are built in other parts of the world and learn from it and bring back some of the lessons. And because community building is an important issue, whether it's a developed country or third world country, we always want healthy communities. At the University of Michigan, students get a fantastic education. I would like students also to learn about other aspects. These pieces are there at the university, but often they're not used as much by students. Uh, and that is, how do you deal with unexpected stressful situations? How do you deal with shifting desires? If you can't get something, how can you still accept how mindfully we consume so there's less impact on our own wellness? our mental wellness, our emotional wellness, and also the wellness of the planet.